everyone. Great Power 60 here. So I'm just going to quickly show you what I am going to attempt to do is I'm making kind of an Easter, kind of a centerpiece, just a little DIY. And what I'm using is some eggs. Got to move these little out of the way. I'm not at my crafts table, so I had to bring things over here. Some of this kind of iridescent green grass and the peeps, I guess, well, they're marshmallowy pink rabbit. So, and I'm using my dish and I have jelly beans and I have bubble gum because I wasn't sure if I like this, I might make more. So this so far is what I have. Now I I saw this once, so let's see if I can imitate it. So what I want to do, and I'm going to have to figure this out as I go along, is put these. Let me do a couple up here, and I'll just kind of hold it up to show you. Alrighty. So what I want to do is do a couple of these all the way around and then put another layer of eggs on top and then put my flowers in. Now I really need to have a cup in the middle to kind of hold these rabbits in place. And since I don't, and you know what, I'm going to put in, hey, we're doing this together, I'm going to put in a few more eggs. So that it will sit better. I'm doing this as we speak. I am not. Uh, I'm not a pro. I just loved this whole idea. The other one that I saw was it was quite a bit taller, so they could do a layer. Um, I think they did a layer of some kind of candy, then they did a layer of rabbits and then another layer of candies and another layer of rabbits but in the middle they had um, a cup or a tall glass tube type glass so that when they put the flowers in um, they could use real flowers because the center is, is um, the glass bowl to put water in the flowers and it was a nice decoration so let's try this again and, and this, these rabbits would sit up better if I did have that in the center. So I'm just playing around here, just trying to figure it out as we go along. But these were so cute. So I'm just going all the way around, putting these in, putting them in, putting them in. Not standing up, but this seems like there's nothing behind them. So it's okay, I'm just kind of standing them up temporarily. And let me put that down and just kind of squeeze them in together. Squeeze them in together. And I think what I'm going to do, I think I got one from the other one. There we go. And I think what I'm going to do is add some more. Eggs in the middle, and that will help keep them standing up. So basically, that's all I'm doing here. Just adding more eggs. But I'm going to rearrange these. Rearrange these little rabbits. Okay, so we've got an egg or two in between. That's quite alright. Just want to arrange them to fit nicely. of eggs in between, that's all right. I'm going to keep them all the same height. Alrighty, so this is what I've got so far. I'm going to put the rest of the eggs on top. This is going to fall in between because there's gaps between my little rabbits. And some of them are not, so they're not as straight as they could be. So, 
that is the next step. Like I said, I've got these extra ones here. I'll, I'll fix that up. I just wanted to show you. Um, now the next thing I wanted to do is put this, but this is obviously much too big to put in there. And I don't like this extra greenery at the top. So we're doing this together, guys. This is real life. Uh, this is supposed to be how we're cutting this. Hope this is. It's coming, but slow but sure. I actually have little wire cutters. As we do things. There we go. Out of there. So what I need to do is kind of play around with it and get it to kind of look prettier. You know, when you buy them, they're all bunched up. You want to kind of put them aside. So I'm going to just squeeze this for now. This is just a, a for now thing. I'm just going to put these in here for now because I want to show you the next part. So I grabbed a couple of skewers and I'm going to put one in my rabbit. And it's going to be too tall, I think. So I'm going to break it. I could cut them all and do whatever, but I just thought I wanted to have these legs. Oh, what I should be doing is showing you. I am so sorry. Let's move this down so you can see a little bit better. What I'm doing, you know, when I'm not at my craft table, eh? And I'm not in my kitchen. So there's another one. I think I'll be able to kind of move that thing up a little bit. one there, and then a little one there, but there's so much greener in the back, so maybe I'll put a couple more. Oh, I'll have to get some more skewers. I don't have them. But for now, I'll just put three in just to show you what you can do with the two little goodies. Two little goodies. So here we are. And there's my other one. I'll just put it here for now. I've got so many skewers already. And I need to rearrange the greenery, I need to rearrange the butterflies, you know, have it all looking cute and nice. And the butterflies, I need to come out of this, and the little egg. Alrighty, let's lift this up a bit and show you. So this is basically what you can do for Easter. Now I'm, like I said, I, I'm doing this with you, I haven't perfected it first time I've tried it. Um, I just thought it was a cute idea. People walking by my apartment. Anyway, I hope you like my little DIY. I hope you like the little, yeah, I could put more grass in the bottom. I could have put less layers of the eggs. You know, I could put more eggs on the top to make it cover the whole top, or I could put the bubble gum, I could put, you know, you could, you could use anything. I think I will put a few more eggs on the top so that it, it covers the more small fall now all over the place. Just so that it covers the tops of the, the rabbit eggs. Yeah, real life, kiddos. Real life, real life DIY. I usually like to do these a couple of times before I you know, show them off. There we go. So we've got a little bit more eggs on the top. And we just got the bunnies around. There we go. And I can fill this up with some more little bunnies to pass or whatever. So I only had these little skewers. I only had three of them with me. I have another half of one here. 
have another purple one. I could stick that one in there. Kind of fill up some space. Definitely needs to be filled up. There we go. I don't know. I'll put it in there. Anyway, I mean, I need to rearrange it. But I thought this was a really ingenious idea. You can use different things. You can layer them if you have a taller glass. You could layer the thinner layers. And then if you put the cup in the middle, you can use little flowers. But I just wanted to do this to show you. Just a crazy thing I thought of. Just actually, I just, I saw the video last night. I went to Dollar Rama today on the way home. And just wanted to try it. The things I do is crazy. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for stopping by. I got to go have my shower. I got to go get ready for work. Thanks for joining me. I hope you like my little DIY, or at least the idea of it. I mean, I didn't really do a very good job. I didn't have a chance. I've got some other flowers here I could have put in. I've got some pink ones that I used for Valentine's Day. i got some white ones I could put in there. Probably would be really cute to fill it up. And I'll probably end up doing that because it's not very bad. When I do something, I like to do it. I'm impulsive. I like to do things right away. I like to try them anyway. Thanks for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this crazy idea. I just think the idea is great. I just haven't done a very good job of putting it together. And I'm sure you um, girls out there, guys, you probably could do a better job. Um, put more thought into it. I just wanted to do it very quickly because I'm in a hurry and I have to run. So glad to be back. Oh, you're going to get sick of looking at me. I've got so many videos to upload. Talk to you later. Bye for now.